Welcome back, Etsy sellers. Imagine automating your entire email marketing strategy, saving hours of manual work while increasing sales. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Well, with Everbee Email's new advanced campaigns feature, it's not just possible, it is officially live. And the best part is, this is not just for Etsy sellers. Whether you run an online store, a service-based business, or a personal brand online, these automations will help you nurture leads, send follow-ups, and re-engage customers all without lifting any more fingers. I actually personally use this strategy in my own online business completely away from Etsy itself. You've probably even seen these yourself as well. Those perfectly timed emails after you abandon a cart or when a discount is about to expire from a brand you love. That is a workflow in action and now you can set it up for your own business right within Everbee. So if you are ready to save time and boost conversions like never before, stick with me. I'm going to show you exactly how to build these workflows in a matter of minutes. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are now in Everbee. You can go to everbee.io, and in the top left-hand corner, we're going to click on that little B and scroll down until we see Everbee email. Then when we get in here, as you can see, you're going to see dashboard, campaigns grow, subscribers, and settings. In order to find the advanced campaigns, we're going to go ahead and click on campaigns. And as you can see, we have always had single campaigns, which basically means that you can send one newsletter or one email at a time. We also had auto campaigns, which basically allows you to send things on a weekly, monthly, yearly cadence. But now you will also see something called advanced campaigns. Just like single and auto campaigns, you'll be able to see the sends, opens, clicks, orders that took place from the email, revenue that came to you from the email, and if there was any percentage of people unsubscribed, because of the advanced sequence that you created. You're also gonna see the status of whether it's inactive versus active. So now let's go ahead and show you exactly how to build an advanced campaign from scratch. On the right hand corner here, let's go ahead and click advanced campaign. At this time, we are actually going to start from scratch and you can see it is currently called workflow builder. So right now your workflow has not started because you have to place a trigger in. So we're gonna click on trigger at the very top and you're basically going to select the frequency. So as you can see here, the frequency is based on how many times someone will enter the workflow when they match the trigger. It breaks down once versus multiple for you. Once would be people will enter this campaign the first time when they meet the trigger conditions, they cannot enter the campaign again. Multiple would be people will enter this campaign every time that they meet the trigger conditions. So we're gonna explain a little bit more about what the trigger is or what it could be, but for today's purposes, I'm going to select once. Now it's going to ask, okay, what trigger do you want when someone is added to this workflow? So you can see right now, we currently have join a list and tag is added. Those are the only two we have currently, but as you can see, we have a lot more coming soon, like joins a group, submits a form, opens an email and then clicks links in the email. So please stay tuned for those. We will give you another tutorial on how to do that. But for now, let's go ahead and build this trigger with joins a list. Hey guys, sorry for the quick interruption, but I have to share this amazing deal with you before it's gone. Right now you can get 33% off our Everbee annual plan and unlock premium features like product analytics and keyword research for just $19.99 a month billed annually at $239 all in. And here's the best part. We're also including the Etsy Growth Academy course completely for free. It's a comprehensive course packed with strategies and techniques that successful sellers use to grow their Etsy businesses themselves. You can find more information in the description. Go ahead, jump on it now. All right, now back to your regularly scheduled programming. When we do that, we are going to now search the name of the list that you should have already created within the subscribers tab. If you have not done that first, you're going to need to build the list first so it will populate over here. So as you can see, I have created the prospects list hence why it is coming down in the drop down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one. Let's say we also want past customers for some reason. So we can click past customers or you can delete and add whatever you want. If you want to add another trigger, you totally can, but for today's purposes, let's go ahead and keep it as simple as possible. So the trigger that we currently have right now is once someone joins the prospect list, 
this workflow is going to begin, which we are about to build together. Let's go ahead and click save. So now you can see that trigger is there. Now we are going to click the little plus button and choose what next step we want these people to take. Personally, I like to send an automated email right when they first join a list. So I'm gonna go ahead and select email for this particular option. And as you can see, now we went from trigger down to email. And then now this is over here saying, how do you want to title and design the email. So let's just say, welcome to shop name. Now we can click design email. Now we are actually going to stay in the single campaign space and click start from scratch. Or of course, if there's any of these welcomes you want to use, let's just go ahead and actually choose welcome one as a template, for example, that you can obviously adjust to fit your brand. So you can see the subject line is, hey, name, welcome to shop name, your exclusive discounts inside. We're absolutely thrilled to have you on board. Thank you for subscribing to blah, blah, blah's family. Every piece is crafted with love, blah, blah, blah. So you could do all of this. You could also add in all of these products as long as you are connected to your Etsy shop. And of course, if you wanted to do anything else, you can come down here, add a button, whatever you want to do to build this out. In my opinion, this is going to be the first welcome-based email that we are going to send once someone does the trigger, which is joins the prospects list. Okay, so let's say we do all of this. We click save email because we're happy with it. Now you can see the campaign that was selected. We are also naming the email. That's not the subject of the email. Keep that in mind. That is just an internal name that we are naming it. And then here's where the fun part comes. We're gonna click that plus button again. And now I want you guys to really think, what is the purpose of this workflow? What would you want as a potential customer or as someone who signed up for someone's email list? You're more than likely not going to want back to back to back to back emails, right? So here's where the fun part comes. You can actually now in Everbee email create a delay and have these emails sent on a particular cadence that you'd like. So let's go ahead and select delay. And let's say we want to wait 24 hours. But of course, you can see other things. You can choose specific time, day, etc. of the month or the day. You can also choose wait, blah, 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 weeks days, months, minutes. In this particular case, I'm going to do 24 hours, but you could obviously do one day as well. We're going to click save. Then I am going to send the second email. All right. So now we are going to build the second email, but we know what's going to happen is someone is going to come in as a prospect. They're going to get added to the prospects list. Then we are going to send them an immediate email once they get added to the prospects list. Then we're going to wait 24 hours and then the second second email is going to go out. Okay. So same thing here. Let's just say we say welcome email to and then we go to email details and edit. So now we're going to make the changes that we want for this second email in here and we will click save. So what could be really beneficial here? Let's say for email one, we talked about the discount and we spotlighted the products that we wanted them to see, but we noticed that maybe they haven't used that discount yet, or maybe we want to check in on them and see if there's any questions we can answer for them. That's where email two is gonna come in handy, okay? So figure out whatever you want to play place an email to that would happen 24 hours after during that delay period after email one. All right. So now let's talk about how to add a condition. So basically a condition allows them to basically take a path that you set for them. So in this particular case, we can go ahead and select the condition. Let's say we want to have if the list is prospects and then we can go ahead and click save. And then that's going to be basically the yes. So if they're a prospect, we're going to either do something Thing here, or we're going to take an action to maybe remove them from it. So in this particular case, if they are a part of the prospects list, we can click email. And if they are not, we can take an action. So you see how that has been built for you that has built a split path for you. And the action is going to be one of these couple things add to a list, remove from a list, add a tag, remove a tag mark as unsubscribed. So this is completely up to you and how you want to build this workflow. But let's say the condition was they they are on prospects, then we can say add a tag and then call it digital products, for example. So that will allow us to now have a tag that we know this person is very interested in digital products and they're on our prospects email list. And that will help us maybe be 
able to target them better in the future now that we know and Everbee Email also knows that they are very interested in digital products. And then go ahead and click save and you will see the step was updated successfully. So now you can come over to the email and then create your third email. And then at any time you can also come in and add an additional delay and keep building off of this workflow as much as you need to get to the end result you're looking for. All right, guys. So there you have it. Everbee Email's advanced campaigns feature, the absolute game changer that lets you automate, save time, and boost your sales with ease. Whether you're an Etsy seller, an online store owner, or running a service-based online business, these workflows can take your email marketing and your sales to the next level. It's all about working smarter, not harder. So by setting up these automations, you are letting Everbee handle the heavy lifting for you while you focus on growing other parts of your business. If you haven't already, now is the time to dive in and start building those workflows using this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did find this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and go ahead and drop a comment below about how you plan to use these automations in your business. Also, if you have any questions about the new advanced workflows, feel free to let me know in the comments as well and I will personally respond to you. Also, if you haven't tried Everbee yet, go ahead and check out the link in the description for a special offer for Everbee email. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.